Hello, friends and famous. It's Megan Moon, aka Tell Nick Me Cook Sad. And we are here in Thailand in Koh Samui with the baby. I feel like this trip is gonna be so much easier since Mr. Moon is with me compared to when I took the twins to the Philippines without him with Carson. I mean, Carson's a good emo and all, but sometimes the babies just want mom or dad. So they were on me the whole time. So I feel like I'm gonna have so much more help. It's gonna be so much easier. It's actually not that bad traveling with the twins. They're, they're pretty chill. <laughs> So they have these robots that if your luggage is too heavy and you don't want to carry it, the robots just follow you to where you're going and they carry your luggage for you. So we are on our way. The babies were just having their formula. Um, there's only night flights to Bangkok, um, which I guess is kind of good because hopefully the babies will just sleep. But anyway, it's your fun. just gonna stay in this hotel until our morning flight to Koh Samui. Guys, don't fight over. Hey, guys, we're not fighting. Look, there's so many toys in here. Toys. So, we are just going to go to Fisherman's Village. They have this night market that opens from 5 p.m. So, we're going to go sample all the foods. It's going to be great. Our driver is here. Hello. Oh, it was so hot walking on the streets with these babies. Like I am flushed. Luna's cheeks are flushed. My booty is sweating, honey. But apparently this place has <laughs> but apparently this place has really good food. Um, and it's like one of the popular places, which I can tell because it's only like five something. And the first floor is already pretty full up. Vacation that Luna. Bye bye. Yeah, so we're gonna eat here. It's gonna be awesome. She's having a meltdown. So it looks like the street is really starting to get popping. Apparently at night it's really nice and there's even like a fire show out on the beach and like you can get lots of cocktails and all that stuff. But yes, we're going in and we're gonna get some massages. We called some massage people to the place and I'm gonna get like a foot scrub and a pedicure because my toes. Girl, they looking like chicken feet. <laughs> Mm. 
There is so much wildlife out here. Good morning. It is our second day and today is exciting because today we're actually going to go and go to this like pig island. We went to this boat. So we're gonna get on this boat and we're gonna go to pig island with the babies. Should be really fun. Taking the babies on a boat, a small boat. <laughs> to a little island. Hey. Oh, what are you trying to tell me? Hey guys, you want some of this breakfast? You want some eggs and toast? You want some bread, Ruben? Why are you looking at it so suspiciously? Having some much needed mommy time here. So one of the things that you guys ask me a lot is how I learned Korean so fluently. If you've been following me forever, then you know that actually before I came to Korea, my parents actually bought Rosetta Stone for me. But this was like 12 years ago, back when it was just like these discs and you had to put them into your computer with the headset. <laughs> but now actually Rosetta Stone has an app. Rosetta Stone is the best language learning program, hands down, because it teaches you a language in a more natural way. And I think the reason why I was able to build such a great foundation and learn Korean so fluently is because of Rosetta Stone and the way that it teaches you. Rosetta Stone teaches you in a more immersive way, which is more natural. It's how a child would learn. <laughs> And how Rosetta Stone teaches you, for example, this is towel, but in Korean it's sugon. It's gonna show you the picture and it's just gonna say sugon, sugon. And it feels even so natural that it's not like you're studying. It kind of feels like you're playing a game. And the good thing about Rosetta Stone is that there are hundreds of languages. You can learn whatever language you want. And the even better thing is that they have a lifetime option where you can literally have access to every single language forever for life. Another good thing that I love about it is that it also helps a lot with pronunciation. And it's asking you questions and you're replying and responding. 여자가 오래된 모자를 팔아요. 여자가 오래된 모자를 팔아요. So don't miss out on this opportunity. You guys can get a discount with my link. It's such a great language learning tool. It's literally going to be the only app and tool in class you'll ever need forever to learn whatever language you want to learn. All the information will be down below. Luna, do you want some bread? Okay. The breakfast of champions. Peanut butter bread. <laughs> You want to show them you can walk a little bit? Yeah. Come on. Come on. Come on. Ah. <laughs> so cute, buddy. Yeah, they're starting to walk around, but they just they can walk, but they haven't gotten enough confidence yet. <laughs> so anyway, we're gonna go to this big island. Let's see how it goes. Man, I didn't get to poop this morning because babies. We're not gonna do that thing where the poop like wants to push itself out. I feel like after you have kids, you don't really care not talking about poop and stuff like that anymore because you get pooped on every day and bodily functions are just they have to. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, no. Oh, what done here? Okay. Something here. Thank you. Here we go. We made it! This place is so gorgeous and quiet. That's why we chose it. Ruben's look, he's clapping his hand. Thank <laughs> you. Ruben's pushing through without that now. They say you gotta get out of there. They, they were like, if you don't get out of there, your hands might get fixed. Yeah, it's your first time on sand, I think. <laughs> That's sand, buddy. Oh, my papa. Luna loves water. You wanna get in? Yay. We're all getting sun kissed. 
I think my foundation color is not gonna match after we leave here. So part of the tour is, you know, you come to like a designated location and you get food. So we're not actually that hungry, but it's a part of the tour and that private boat, okay, was not cheap. So we're going to nibble even just a little bit. That's right, girl. We're going to nibble so we can get all the use out of our car. I think the mosquitoes just bit my ear. Mm. Those stir-fry vegetables are so good. I'm about to just steal these. So we are just in the shopping mall. Looking around. Stuff. We got a babysitter for tonight uh, associated with our villas. There's like a nanny that you can book that works for the villas that we're at. Um, and so after the babies go to bed, we're just gonna have her come and sit at the house. So then we're gonna go out. Well, we are like, we're exhausted, but also we need to go on a date. So we're excited for the evening. Having some more fruit smoothies. And Mr. Moon's about to taste the alligator. Well, in an ago, I competed in my chocolate in the yogi pearl of so. Time of time, and I can beat in chicken, beat in the chicken. You got grasshoppers ready? Actually, I already had them before. They're really good and crispy. It just tastes like kind of like beef jerky. Ugh. It's good. It's good ethical protein. <laughs> yeah. You remember? Oh, this is like her second one. Good morning. So this is our last day in Koh Samui, and actually, right now we're about to go to Bangkok. Oh my God, it looks so. You can tell. How the lack of sleep, lack of water, is just, ri wow, I feel like I look like I'm like 50. Anywho, traveling with kids, there's this meme that's online, it's like, <laughs> going on vacation with kids is just parenting in another city. Facts. Um, hello, Mr. King and Queen, your breakfast is here. <laughs> we have... Peanut butter toast, strawberries, mangoes, papayas, a little bit of cheese, corn, egg, potato, blueberry, cup, big selection. Which one you want? The remote, okay. They're at this age where they're starting to discover what they wanna do and what they don't wanna do. So when it comes to food, they've become extremely picky now. Because when they're smaller, I feel like they just eat a lot. So you gotta present a big selection like this and see which one they're eating and then just offer more. Cause I swear, if you just offer one food, they don't want it. They do not want it. Effort is up. Why y'all picking it, huh? I'm talking about you, sir. Oh, not you giving the side eye like what I do. Yes. Watch your song. Here and we gotta go. You decide you wanna have some corn. Right now. And of course, the day you decide to leave a place, the weather is lawless. Oh my god, my hair is like, girl, are you gonna wash me or do something? We just gotta push through for a few more days. <laughs> anyway, to the airport. So they give you these baby seat belts. 
so you can hold your baby on your lap. Although I think the baby carrier is much more safe because this is just like a strap. Like, at least in the baby carrier, they're like really on you. They didn't accept our case that the baby carriers that we have are much more than. Yeah. They're like, like, what is this going to do? So typically what we get at the convenience store for the babies, we get a combination of a banana. In Asia, you can always get boiled purple sweet potato. The babies really love corn, so we got corn. And some kind of sandwich, it's like some crab meat sandwich. Yeah. And then boiled eggs for mama. Ramen for Mr. Ma. And peanuts for Mr. Moon. He's holding the camera so we can't see the peanuts right now. But you know what peanuts look like. Yeah, I would hope so. Unless you've been living under a rock. Oh, you don't want it. Don't eat it. I'll eat it. I like this now. So we're just going to chill out here in the Airbnb, which is amazing, by the way. Mr. Moon, what have you got there? Uh... uh Damian이랑 무슨 도그 쓰고 먹을 거야? Yeah. 젓가락 써야지 다행히. 진짜 며칠 만에 젓가락 사고 먹는 거. Yeah. So in Thailand they don't use uh, uh chopsticks. They use like forks and stuff. So Moon's been like, where are the chopsticks? I'm like, bro, this is not Korea. This is not Japan. This is not China. Okay, this is Thailand. <laughs> Hi, so today is an interesting day because we're actually going to go take some family photos. We're going to this place that has like some really cool like neon theme and I was like, hey, well, can you do like some family photos? It's a rainy day today, so I'm just like, ah. What? <laughs> yeah, so we just called a grab taxi, we're just waiting on it. Yeah. playing in this bathtub that they cannot escape. We've already checked. So we're gonna go take our photos real quick in like one minute. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, as the trip goes on, you can see I'm getting more and more tired. 
<laughs> oh my god. So we're gonna head to the convenience store to get the baby some bananas and snacks. Little nanners. These little bananas, they love them. They're really good. The, they have like a fruity flavor almost. It's like banana, but there's like a fruity tartness to it. Kind of remind me of the apple bananas, but these are not apple bananas. Oh my god. Right. <laughs> a crab in it. <laughs> The yogurt is gone, so I'm gonna go get another one. But it, Luna's like, girl, if you don't give me that banana, okay, just put it all in your mouth. And we got these sandwiches for the babies. They've been loving these sandwiches from the convenience store, and it's easy. Like, look, we're trying to be on the go, okay? We're not having healthy gourmet meals on vacation. Schedule planned. We were gonna to go to the butterfly garden, which apparently is really nice and children. We were gonna to go to the kids' museum, which apparently is really nice and kids love it. Um, but see, I didn't know that they were closed on Monday. And guess what? Today it is our last day in Bangkok. Monday. So we're gonna make use of this Airbnb because the other places are hard for babies to go. Like there's a floating market in Bangkok where all the people just kind of float down the river and you like buy stuff like that. But in order to go there on a tour, you have to be on a little boat with these children who are moving around on a little narrow boat. It's probably not the best idea. You know, I think it's difficult to bring kids there. So we're not going there. So we're just gonna hang out in our Airbnb until our flight tonight at 11 p.m. Great! Came all the way here. No butterfly garden and no safari. I'm not pressed at all. Maybe a little bit. But anyway, there's a swing outside and we're gonna swing. And then we're gonna get in the pool, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm. That's big. Look at Cole. Where? Where's it go? I'm gonna go to the pool. See what? That thing like a snake. Ajma. Okay, we should get Mr. Moon on. We should get Mr. Moon on here so he can just break the whole branch down. Go ahead and give it a little wiggle. Ruben's like, yeah, I guess I'm kind of impressed by this. Anyway, so we just ordered some delivery food, some pad thai, and some various Thai things. I'm not that familiar with Thai food, so we just literally ordered whatever looks good. It's actually nap time for the babies, so we're just feeding them really quickly. This is like some kind of Thai omelet. It's like got egg and meat and vegetables. You want to try Thai tea? Mr. Moon, whenever he tries something, he always gotta go. Because we're filming. He been trying to act all different when we were on camera. But his normal self is like. And I also got my double mango sticky rice because that's just necessary to eat every day when you're in Thailand. That rice is good. Okay. Lil wants to get done.
Okay, I think I need to do something with this hair. Like traveling with kids is hard, but it's so cute when they're like happy and excited about stuff. And you know that you're making good memories with the kids. Ain't that right, Miss Lou? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I turned him off like if you didn't understand what I say, just say yeah. <laughs> Oh, that was such a cute, pleasant swim. It was our last. It was our last activity that we're doing here. I'm still salty about the Monday thing. I see it, but Luna's not. So anyway, we're gonna shower, get ready, power, and get ready to go back to the airport. Speaking of brain development, if you need, how about you get started on your language learning journey today? All the information will be down below for Rosetta Stone. You don't want to miss out on this lifetime subscription deal. Right, guys? <laughs> so, if you like this video and like to see more videos, please subscribe to my YouTube page, which is down below. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, not on Snapchat, because I don't do that no more. Like me on Facebook, and we will.